get this, it's Cassie Green who owns Green Grocer on Greenville. Wow, <laughs> it's amazing how things work out, huh? I know, I know, it was kismet. <laughs> there you go. We're making squash, as Chip mentioned, because it's hot right now, but I don't know, I see something like this in the grocery store and I go, what, what, I don't even know what to do with this. <laughs> I think a lot of people have that reaction, right? So today we're actually making roasted acorn squash with a cilantro lime vinaigrette and shaved radishes. Okay. Winter squash is in season right now in Texas, mm -hmm. so it's a great time to buy your local winter squash. And how do I know this is a good one? You know, typically you want something that's heavy for its size. That's, okay. the, that's probably the easiest way. Squash is a, it's a beast of produce, so you don't have to, you don't have to think too hard okay, about I it, which like is that. one of the things <laughs> I love. So a little tip that I like, we're going to roast the squash, as I mentioned, but before you roast the cut up squash, put the whole squash in the oven for about 20 minutes at 400 degrees. It makes it so much easier to cut. So I've oh, already, really? okay. I've actually already roasted the squash. So I'm just going to take off the top, throw it in my little scrap bowl here and then cut it down the center here and see all these seeds. Now, just like, have you ever heard of roasted pumpkin seeds? Yeah. All right, you could do the same thing with any squash. And what's cool is that you can use this recipe that I'm making today literally with any winter squash. We have a variety of beautiful squash that we brought today. We've got some pumpkins, some butternut squash, some delicata squash. So feel free wow, to use so any of that. Options. Exactly. Yeah, and, and you can support your local farmers. So we've seeded these now. I'm just gonna slice this to about half inch portions here. Okay. Rounds, you could do any shape you want, but I just think this looks really pretty on the plate. Good. Yeah. And then we will toss this with some olive oil and salt and pepper. So I'm putting this on my baking sheet. Again, I've got my oven already preheated because I already did my little squash roasting. And drizzle just a bit of olive oil on here. And you could certainly use tongs or whatever to toss this. I find that hands are really good. Clean hands, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Which mine are well washed, yeah. Okay. So a little right. salt, a little pepper. A little salt there. and pepper. Mm -hmm. And then we're just gonna toss this to coat. And you wanna put all your squash on one layer mm -hmm. so that they roast evenly and they roast and not steam. So we're gonna pop these in the oven. And then we're gonna make our vinaigrette which is super easy. So we dump in about two tablespoons of lime juice, about two to three tablespoons of cilantro, a couple cloves of minced garlic, a little hint of cayenne pepper, just putting a pinch. And then we're gonna do our salt again. This is to taste and pepper. I never, ever, ever buy store-bought vinaigrette. Just whisk it like this because you just add your olive oil and you've got a beautiful salad dressing right there. That's good, huh? Wow. Yep. And then we're going to drizzle this over our roasted squash that okay. we've already pulled out of the oven. Little radishes there on top Little radishes. as well. And you serve this as a side to chicken, pork, fish. That is beautiful. Whatever you want. Goodness. And you have a gorgeous winter and fall meal. All right. You can find this recipe and a link to Green Grocer, which has, which has all sorts of goodies on our website, myfoxdfw.com. Thank you so much. Thank